for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel just keep in mind the bottom cards are paired with the top cards and I'll be going through the past the present the challenge and the outcome so cancer in the recent past we have the ace of cups now this is an excellent card in the tarot regarding love. Either an existing relationship is going to take a turn for the better. Indeed, for an existing relationship, this could have gotten to a deeper level of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship. And that's in the recent past. Now keep in mind, it probably would have felt almost like a new and encouraging start. If you were not in a relationship at that time, a new relationship was likely to appear soon. The Ace of Cups is paired with, is paired with the Death card. Now, if you were clinging to a relationship that you were deeply unhappy in because you didn't want to let go of the familiar or because you hated the thought of being alone, you were doing neither yourself or your partner any favors, if that's what you were doing. So you needed to have a frank and honest discussion about the problems you had in the relationship and if they can't or would not make any changes or you couldn't or you would not then perhaps it was time to let the relationship go not all relationships are flexible but you still should have tried first that's in the recent past now we move on to the present. We have the Ten of Wands. Now, as you can see in the picture, it's clearly showing a hard place in a relationship. It can be that your lover is undergoing a rough time and it has nothing to do with your relationship, but it needs your support. So most often, however, it indicates there is something in the relationship which needs to be examined, looked at, and considered. Just remember that you're not going to gain anything if you pretend that there are no problems. If you're in the market for love, don't despair. Your time will definitely come, eventually. But perhaps now is a good time to put a stop to your search and just take some time for rest and reflection. And the Ten of Wands is paired with a moon card. Now this card it points to a highly emotional time in a relationship. Things can quickly become heated or uncomfortable. Take a break if you need to. Don't make assumptions. Fight fairly. If you're going to fight at all, pick your battles and be sure to treat your lover like a friend. Don't be in a hurry to end or to begin a relationship. This is probably not the best time for either course of action. And with these two cards paired together, the Ten of Wands it's basically, it's, it's just letting you know that um, the relationship could be at a hard place. Um, your lover, your partner, or it could be you, you're undergoing a rough time, but it has nothing to do with the relationship, but it needs your support, okay? And it's paired with the moon card. Uh, highly emotional time in a relationship so what whatever difficulties you or your partner is going through 
at this time. It's just um, creating a lot of emotions. And um, just remember to pick your battles and treat your lover like a friend. And that's the present. Now, let's move on to the challenge. We have the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups, you may decide that a long-term relationship is going to end. If you are sure about this, don't wait for the right time, as there will never be a good time to tell someone that the relationship needs to be over. Don't jump headlong into a new relationship. Give yourself some time. And that card is paired with the Eight of Wands. Now, when it comes to love and the Eight appears in your reading, you probably are feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be coming towards you. Again, you must not push someone before they're ready. If you cannot get your needs met by force, um, then that's just how it is. You basically cannot get your your me I'm sorry, you basically cannot get your needs met by force. Or you should not even try to do that. So distract yourself if necessary and your lover may be back to you before you know it. Offering you the love that you've been hoping for on a silver platter. Now, with these two cards paired together, the Eight of Cups, you may be deciding to end a relationship. Okay, so that's what the um, Eight of Cups refers to. You could be thinking about ending it. If you're sure about it, um, don't wait for the right time because the right time may never come. Okay, and it's paired with the Eight of Wands. Uh, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be coming your way. Mm. So, you're probably wanting to end this relationship with the Eight of Cups because it's just not coming towards you the way that you was hoping that it would. Okay, so it's not working out like you, you hope, so you're thinking about ending it. Um, uh, also, the Eight of Wands, it's saying to distract yourself if, if you can, if necessary. Um, don't try to force the relationship to be something that is not at this time. Uh, if you distract yourself, your lover... They could be back to you before you know it, offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. So that's going to be the challenge there to dis distract yourself. You want to end the relationship, but it's saying pretty much that you should try to distract yourself. Um, so focus your attention on something else. And then they, and then your lover will probably come running, running back to you because you, your focus is elsewhere. And that's going to be the challenge. Okay, so we move on to the outcome. We have the Eight of Swords. Okay, in the context of love, the Eight of Swords, it points to a need to seriously reevaluate a relationship. You may be sticking with someone that is actually bad for you since you figure it's better than nothing at all. If that's the case, you need to rethink it because being in an unhealthy relationship is much worse than being alone. If you're looking for love, first look at how well you love yourself because someone else cannot come along and fix you. Start where you are. The Eight of Swords is paired with the Magician. If you are in the market for a new romance, this is a great time. You're likely to meet someone new. Right now, someone out there, 
somewhere is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Keep in mind now, whether they find you or not will depend on you. So don't sit at home expecting them to knock at your door because that probably won't happen. You need to be out there socializing and making yourself available to be found. And this is a great time to do that. So get out there and meet people. With these two cards paired together, the Eight of Swords, it points to a need to reevaluate the relationship you're in. Okay, you may be just sticking around because it's comfortable. Thinking something is better than nothing. So rethink re those th thoughts and reevaluate the situation. And it's paired with the Magician card. If you do decide to part and go your own separate ways, um, a new love is right around the corner. Um, someone out there, somewhere, is looking for you just as you're looking for them. Yeah, you're just going to need to get out there. So either way it goes, if you decide to end the relationship you're in, um, you walk out the door in, into the arms of someone that's been looking for you. So you're at free will. Cancer, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. Once again, thank you for watching and have a great day. Watching and have a great day.